In addition to the compliance issues that have already been discussed, when giving oxygen by face mask to children, the flow rate and the size of mask also deserve special attention. A face mask traps some of the air that a patient has breathed out. This expired air is high in carbon dioxide, shown by the blue arrows in the illustration. We have to be careful not to allow rebreathing of this carbon dioxide, otherwise it would be like making a patient breathe in and out of a paper bag, and their blood levels of carbon dioxide could rise dangerously, even though the pulse oximeter may show good oxygen saturations. The technical term for this volume of air trapped inside the mask is equipment dead space, and that volume of dead space should be as small as possible to reduce rebreathing of carbon dioxide. Fortunately, some of this exhaled and trapped carbon dioxide will be washed out of the mask by the flow of fresh oxygen, and so oxygen flow rates cannot simply be reduced in proportion to the size of the child. Remember that nasal prongs do not contain any of this dead space, and so if oxygen saturations are improving, the oxygen flow rates with these devices can be reduced or titrated even down to half a litre per minute.